I want to get sweet pork buns. Sweet pork buns! Bah! That's as good as an intro as any. Hi guys, welcome back to What's Way Dying in Rumpa. Cassie wants sweet pork buns. <laughs> I do. Why the fuck does Crone have to ruin I'm pretty everything? sure we ended the last episode with you saying you wanted sweet pork buns. I just want to point that out. I'm pretty sure you said that last episode. Well, sue me if a girl really wants some sweet pork buns. Alright? They're good. Where the franking did my list go? I've got no idea. The list is gone. Just like my dad. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I found it. The Unlike gate's open. We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms, which means I have to do oh, it. Oh, yes. Let's go, gate. I have to look up for baby pictures Ooh. of Kirigiri. This is the second floor of the dorms. It looks like some ancient ruins. Or, no, it's more like a battlefield, like a bomb blew up here or something. Almost like a bomb -om. I like that there's nothing beyond it, too. It's just blackness. Like, this one at least, like, has a bit of wall, but, like... What? <laughs> Yummy. There's some strawberry syrup on the ground there. Some boat nectar. Some of God's tears. <sighs> I hate you. Love I hate you, you so much. I love you, too. Man, whose room was this? It's pretty boring. I mean, just based on the fact that it's boring as shit, probably mine. The bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Well, from what I can see, you're a liar, Nagy. <laughs> from what I can see, you're a liar. I opened the door just a crack, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. That's very rude to say about someone like you. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess this was completely a waste of time. Considering there were three I items in our exploration. Go bathroom. look in the girls' bathroom. Nagi, please. This is the girls' bathroom. Even in a place like this, I can't bring myself to... Nagi, why are you such a fucking pussy, bro? This Come is the on. one place that I should be. I'm looking for clues to stop a murder. And the murder's well, ours. The murder's yeah. already happened. Well, so the murder is ours. It. Yeah, our death. Our murder. Gabe, you keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I was mashing for some reason. I thought that would work. <laughs> Uh, it was good. Ah, uh, they're coming out of the closet! Good for them. <laughs> they're coming out of the closet. How do you, giraffe? Oh, hey, it's a locker room. I... We actually haven't seen one of these. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been for Hope Speak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers until we find Literally our in picture. my head, when you said we haven't seen one of these, I think back to the locker rooms for the pool and just the room with am I a fucking joke to you? <laughs> It does not count. I mean, they are locker rooms. Okay, that is a pool room. That is, that is not the same they're thing They're locker as... rooms, though. That's literally what they're called. Locker rooms. I'm talking about one for like, sports and stuff. Or even mm -hmm. school supplies. I'm not talking mm -hmm. about one that is specifically for pools. I wonder if I can open this locker, Rattle Rattle. No, it won't. There's a card reader installed on the door. There must be how to get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers to the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e-handbook to open these up, so does that mean, well, let's just give it a try. Bzz, no luck. Maybe the, only the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. Hey Gabe, do you want a slight hint? No. Because okay. I already know what's up. Yeah. We can't just do this the same for a lot. Okay, um... Yeah, and you would spend a lot of time here. I want to try something. Uh, I'm just going to check. Oh, yeah, no. You can't just go and grab some no. e, e books and start swiping them? No. <laughs> that would be so cool, though! I don't think Nike would take the handbook in the first place. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Nike. Oh my gosh, there's so much murder. This is so weird. Was there anything to do in this room? No. 
cap. I'm not wasting my time. This looks important. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has more adult atmosphere. <laughs> Correct. Okay, thank you, Kirikiri. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko! Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. A regret? The secret door here? Huh? There's a strange gap. No regrets? In the wall. Not even one letter? <laughs> Sorry, I'm some... a reference bot. <laughs> Is this some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? There's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Control it. And okay. to the right password and the door should open right up. However, But I don't have a clue what that password might be. All we know is that it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. You're right, that's not even nearly enough to go on. It's true. I looked through all this paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to. You would not believe his kinks. But nothing that might have been his password. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. When I think of how much time I wasted on this. I know what the password is. What's the password? I'm Hacker Man. Just a sec. There's a piece on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Damn it. Oh. I... Okay. Um... Uh... Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results left for, left on it. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. However, there's not much though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. They're the worst sort of people whose driving force comes from despair. However. And that's all there is, not much to it, is there? <sighs> but I guess that's the best he could do as a complete Kirigiri failure. But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? <laughs> Stop that. She sounds mad. Yeah, I was picking her up. Yeah, how dare you. I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. I see. That's a good outlook to have. The ultimate despair is added to the truth bolt section. Why do they all look like Nosferatu? Okay, all right, let's go. <laughs> Jeez. So Nosferatu. there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she might be regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But waiting for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoka can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoka wouldn't have thought of, or something she didn't want to think of. For example... What about your name? Haha, <laughs> cool. What? <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea would, that he would use her name as his password? Knowing who sh how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it just to be sure? Well, it's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. That's the kind of response where a girl's like, sure, go out, have fun. But if you do it, you'll wind up dead the next morning. That's fair. I mean, we'll wind up dead the next morning if we don't do it. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hey. I'm yawning. Hold on. That's right. fine. Ugh. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. 
collecting myself, then turn to face the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. Type in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, and I as I typed it in. Bye, bitch! What was that? I Wrong? Knew it. I what was it. that? Yeah, obviously. But also, I'd like to imagine what if he made it her name, but instead of O's, he put zero. That would have been funny. <laughs> I mean, that would have been me. <laughs> that would have been funny. This is my levels of bullshit. What? Yeah. That did it? Kyoko, it worked. She does not look happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's so bad. Kyoko? Without looking at me, she disappeared in the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko. Yo, he got alcohol. Let's get Liddy. Just to Liddy. be sure. A leather chair. I can't imagine just doing something like this. Must... Yeah? I... Oh. Apparently, uh, if you hold down the B button for like half a second, it actually skips through everything. Was Wild. that- is that supposed to be like that? Because if so, I don't know. that really shows how shitty my old controller was. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, here we go. Oh. Do you see it back there, Gabe? Yeah, I said, oh. Remember when you said baby pictures of Kyoko? <laughs> I was like, well, there's one! <laughs> um, he looks familiar. How's Wait. that? I- I've seen very little future games. He reminds me of that one, uh, the, the, I, it's like, it, it might be the main character of the second game. It's one of the characters from the second game. Short haired, not naive. Hmm. Amaze. With dark hair like that? Uh, yeah. Then you're probably thinking of the main character, yeah, Hajime. Yeah. But Hajime has a, uh, a hoge. What? A hoge. A hoge is the word for that little piece of hair that just sticks up out of your head in anime. Oh. Uh, you know how they have... Yeah. yeah. Ahagao is the face thing. Yeah, They're I... very similar, which is so hard for me to try to differentiate them every time. Because ahoge is the little piece of hair. He Hajime has an ahoge. Okay. That guy does you you're, you're saying that, and I'm just thinking like... Like a comic? God, no. Ew. Okay. Rude. I have a cowlick. Don't be rude. Mm, that's unfortunate for you. That turns into a pompadour. Yes. Fuck you. The pompadour is better. Okay. Once again, I really hate that really short stage. Hey, Kyoko. I may as well not have been in the room. Her gaze was fixed only on one thing. A present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. Ignoring that? You have to do the present okay. first. He won't do anything else until you look at the present. There's a brightly covered box here, seems totally out of place. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Should we open it? I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it, but I mean, we can't not open it. Okay? Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why? You think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, probably. Huh? It would seem... If it's what I think it is, at the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Are you naked? Wait, so what? you know what's in? We would be happy as I know, fuck to I know, see her naked. But, but, th but that's my meat response, is that she doesn't. She's dumb. <laughs> anyway, just don't scream or anything like that, okay? Are you saying it's possible something will make me want to scream? Pictures of Fumi naked. <laughs> Just pictures of Fumi in general. No, pictures of Mizuno naked. Why Mizuno? Because that was the motive in the Abridged series. The yeah, no. Episode. Okay. I meant more of like things that people wouldn't want to see. So I said Hifumi. Well, that general. would make us scream because we would want to see it. What? Scream oh, pleasure. Oh, you're, you're, you're talking about my Snow. I thought you were talking about Hifumi. I was like, what the fuck, no, Cassie? God, no. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna open it. Okay. Step by heavy step, I approached the box. I took a deep breath and took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I still hasn't glanced aside and... Kyoko's device is no use. I let out a trembling cry. You loud bitch. 
what was in the box, it was bones, so it was the headmaster. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined... Oh, uh, right, this is who we're dealing with. Just as I thought. What? <sighs> yeah. Just as you thought? How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing. A dead guy in a box? My father. Huh? What about him? Correct. What you found in the box. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least, what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The nice same to meet you, sir. I have good intentions with your daughter. <laughs> the same man she's been searching for. Hold on, how can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? So, given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably here in the school, but the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were our 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume in other words. that most likely my father was in the school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyway. So hey Gabe, do you remember the beginning of the game? Yeah. Do you remember when we saw Monokuma put somebody in a spaceship and then they went up and they yep. came back down? Yep. Yeah, and that was him. Yep, and I also remember the bones that popped out. Yeah. Yep. Also, do you remember that one TikTok that I accidentally showed you forever ago where it was someone cosplaying Kyoko and they had a box or a skull and they went, You're my dad, boogie woogie woogie that I fucked up and I didn't mean to show you, but you saw it anyway. Yeah, I had no idea what the there fuck that go. even meant. <laughs> yeah, here you go. This is what it meant. I was like, Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> As One of the explained... funnier ones, too, though. That's fair. Boogie, boogie, boogie. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or, no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said j just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility, but I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong, which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could have full ties, but was that all there was to it? Or did she have daddy issues? Daddy issues indefinitely. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Hidden room present. Now you can search the other stuff, yeah. The headmaster's desk is probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but I really don't want to touch Kiko's dad's desk without her permission. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Are you sure? Because Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Okay I then, if you don't mind. I literally touched a dead girl's body to find out that it was indeed a man and not a girl. I touched the PP. <laughs> touched Hifumi's corpse is a good one. <laughs> I don't know. Starting from the top, I open all the desk drawers and look inside and rummage through each of them, finding nothing but overweighted documents. But in that last drawer... Huh? Is this? It's a neat handbook, right? And it was the label and it says in case of emergency. So I wonder that's... what you're supposed to do in that. Yeah, I'd found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words... A handbook with no limitations given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what it is. I think you're probably right. It would seem... It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. But why don't you hold on to it? Couldn't we huh? get into the girls' locker room with that? Yes, that is immediately what I thought of. <laughs> huh? But Kyoko... I... 
I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? What? What? I... <sighs> this game needs to be stopped. Huh? This picture? It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, is this picture of... Hey, Kyoko. She didn't even see it? Reaction shot. <laughs> Shut the fuck you up. You ruined me, Gabe. You ruined me. Uh, poor her. You... Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past. And yet... <sighs> to now find something like this. So, what do you expect me to do now? I mean, the password was your name. Did you not ex- then What I was did right. you reasonably expect? I mean, she didn't expect it to be her name to begin with. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. I know, but after we figured out it was her name. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must have been really cared about her. Why? Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. I mean, he was murdered! Mm -hmm. um, and this time he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been such a worse father? <laughs> such a... <laughs> uh, a Kyokel. Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster. Hey. Listen, Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? A favor? What is it? So. I know it's completely unreasonable of me to ask you this. And I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but. Hey. Could you leave? Huh? Correct. Could you, like, go die? Just for a little while. I'd like. I'd just like to be alone for a bit. Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. Just a second. I need to get my emotions in order. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only con connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But. Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? If so, it's just a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching. Okay, so Cassie, you either need to raise your... You either need to raise up your uh, British voice or you need to lower your regular. <laughs> well, I mean, I specifically was louder because it's... Yeah, I know. But, okay. like, no, I just mean in general. Like, please raise your British voice. Please raise your... Tongue. Please raise me up so I can stand on my own. You raise and... me up. I just think of that fucking... What was it, a seal? In that water tube? Hell yeah, I love that guy. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. You're right, I'm sorry. Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then I'll see you later. And Babbage. I like also, how she popped back up yeah, on the screen Yeah, I was about to say it. Surprise, bitch. She really came. It was a shock to me. To find out what happened to the headmaster. That's my dad. Buggy, buggy. There's no doubt the master might perform that evil deed. They killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. But we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind, which means the mastermind's true identity is actually Monokuma. If 
15 of us met in the mail hall, and Mukuru, add Mutur, Mukuru to the mix, and you get 16. And including me, only 6 of us are still alive, which everyone else is dead. Even Mukuro. Even she's undeniably dead, even though we never actually saw that it was her corpse. Well, we know it's her corpse because of the tattoo. Anyone can get a tattoo. Yeah, but she had a Fenner tattoo. Yeah, but you could add you could add a tattoo to a person. You'd be able to tell if it was added post mortem. You, you could have added pre mortem. Well, they're still alive. And then kill them. Nobody would have. Somebody trying to set up this red herring at the end. Got so him. who was this person if it wasn't Mukro and they were alive? Uh, the tattoo could have been added three months ago. We have no idea. Why would somebody get a wolf tattoo? Uh, because they were going to be a scapegoat in this. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying this is actually my theory. I'm just saying that that is a huge hole. If it was all red herring to begin with and it wasn't Mukuru, that would just be a huge hole. Who the fuck is messaging me? You're dead. It's like, what up? I heard y'all talking about naked pictures of Kyoko and Mizuno. Uh, so the ones still left alive are... Me. Me. Byakugan. A cunt. A dickhead. Oh, wait, an idiot, right. <laughs> an idiot. I mean, he's a dick. Uh, Toko. A major soon today. Best Hina. girl. Other best girl. <laughs> yeah, correct. We have two best girls. This is an issue. You know what's funny, by the way? In the, uh, the free event guide that I was using to just make sure, like, what things, sh they list her, Kyoko, as best girl. That's fair. Both of them are great. Yeah. Only those six people are still alive. Then there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe that there has to be some other way. There just has to be. A fake corpse? Like it's not a real corpse? Yes, it's not a real corpse. It is. That is 100% a real dead body. What are you talking about? The dead body. Which dead body? The, the one that we're doing this for? Oh, Mikuri Kasab- No, I wasn't talking about that. The fuck were you talking about then? What? The, the alternative. Are the monitor and the keyboard separate? I have no idea, my man. I was trying to actually do that. I need to remember to press A, not B. Because B is skip. And there are also different spots than on my PlayStation drawer. Okay. Well, all right, I'm gone. So we know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Look to your left, real quick. Don't wait, Gabe. No, no. Look to your left. No, not that way. Go back to where you were standing. And look. Yeah. To your left. It's Egyptian. Can't go into the girls' locker room. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to see if there's text for it. Yeah. Just let me have this. Oh wait, it's unlocked anyway. What? Oh, right. Makoto's a pussy, he just won't do it. A, he's a pussy. B... Okay, Blair, you need to stop. You need to be stopped, kitty. That at the end there sounded like she was laughing at you. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I barely used this feature because I hated it. I just walked everywhere. It's just not done well. Wait. It's a little bit better in the second game. I use it more. Yeah, that's where I found that. Giraffe, we're back! Hello! Surprise, giraffe. Proud, bitch. Okay, so right off the bat, 
I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope, locked. Here's a card reader install on the door. That must be how you got the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers. And you have to use your handbook. So does that mean we'll just give it a try? Check out my handbook and right across the card. And then, no luck. Maybe when the locker's open, it wait. But what about the emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's room? Okay, let me give it one more try. Took the emergency handbook and ran the card of the card reader. And uh, all right, this is just what I was hoping for. Now you got to see what's inside. How so? Familiar. How so? This, this locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belongs to must to probably has his organization problems in every part of their life. Whoever this locker belongs to is probably a stupid fucking idiot that I wish would have died in the beginning of the game. Spoilers. <laughs> There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. Dust everywhere. I have to assume whatever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. Trying to get it to act as casual and natural as possible, I picked up one of the notebooks I saw, but the moment I saw it, looked inside the notebook, any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. Yasuhiro Hagakure. What? There's no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written Yasuhiro Hagakure. Is this our Yasuhiro? Unfortunately. The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes, which would mean he attended classes here? No, that can't be possible. I mean, here came to the school at the same time as the rest of us, and we were all sucked into this evil world. We never really had a chance to take any classes. So, what is this notebook? The locker notebook. This is a crystal ball, huh? Crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he could have used this locker. It's just not possible. You're supposed to go down, but you went yes, up. Yes, so. I realize that. Is this deck of micro? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, aren't those used for telling fortunes? It's just a coincidence, right? Well. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader, and... Locker opened. I don't see anything that might be a clue. Took the emergency handbook. This thing's practically empty. Just FYI, this is the only other locker that has something in it. None of the other ones. Some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written in it, so I can't say for sure whose it is. But there's some writing inside. It could be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I'd better take a look. They're probably corpses I anyway. About to die. It looks like a girl's handwriting, and all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote it was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there, words I'd heard before. So, do you want me to read it and whose voice it is? Yes, I... yeah. There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal lot. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan, here's what he said. The point is to keep our student progeny safe, keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I, I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko, it couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. He picks up back up the book to stare at it dramatically again. I... Okay. What does this all mean? I quickly scan the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question marks spinning through my mind just started spinning that much faster. 
When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, sprawled. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? Despair walks among us, and so we survived. There's a second despair. So you may claim that there's nothing else, but the more I see, the less it makes sense, because these lockers, I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are there things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that seems like it belongs to Hiro, and a pocketbook that seems like it belongs to Kyoko. There no, seems to be... There has to be some kind of explanation, but if I want to find that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward, and I have to believe in everyone. So, now you want to go back to the fifth floor of the school. I, so I know. Over there. Hey, plant. <laughs> or there's the... Uh, two rooms on the fourth floor you can also go through. Yeah. Um. Huh? It's gone. Mikuru's body. It's not here? No, you don't need the body anymore. Well, to be fair, after a trial has been succe succeeded, completed, whatever, the body is cleaned up. Yo, you got another chicken yet? No, rip, rip chicken. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be kind of terrified if there were more than that. <laughs> That's fair. Chicken's gonna have babies. What the fuck? The monokuma flower, is it true? Does it really eat? Okay. There's nothing in here for you. Okay. This wasn't one of the rooms. Well, I mean, it was... Yes, there is. I tried oh, to leave. Apparently it is. Wild. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mid bodies yeah, inside yeah. the tool shed. I better check just to be sure. I remember what this one is. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body, but if it's not in here either, then it must be... I have no idea where, but corpses aren't the only thing that I would need to check in here. There's one other thing. That tarp. The tarp played a key role in another case, so I'd better take a look into it. Yeah, you're gonna notice something now that you didn't notice initially, which I find ridiculous, but whatever. The killer used the tarp to keep the spring portion from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? How did you not notice that initially, Makoto? No one noticed that. How did nobody notice that initially? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp mm. in one corner of the tarp. It says Biolab? Then that originally, then this originally came from the Biolab? This is a spoiler, but once you get to the trial, they're like, how did you notice such a small detail? Maybe because we're supposed to be investigating a fucking murder. You're supposed to notice small details. That's all I really needed to check here, but where could her body have been shoved into that eats bodies? Hmm. <laughs> I better start looking for it. I completely forgot I could use the bumpers to move left and right to strafe. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? Get my yogi gushing, you want me out of your sight? No, that's not at all. I just thought maybe you'd find found a clue. Well, I haven't. I couldn't find anything, not a single clue. I figured Kinky Yuki related to the case, you would have something, right? But Kinky, what can anything out of the ordinary here? Give it back! Give me back my precious time! Calm down, Toko. What's your problem? Kinky, tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? Toko, you're not even the one being accused of murder, though. When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me you guys. Go for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that except for Byakuan. My <laughs> master will! I'm not sure I can disagree with that. <laughs> Why won't anyone accept me? 
Um, well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going? <laughs> maybe I'm gonna leave? I mean, we already checked this, so... Um... Yeah. Raw! The Bioweb. It's... It's a mortuary? Morgue? Yeah. Wait, what's a mortuary? Is that the same thing? Is that a different thing? I think it's a different thing. Well, here I am in the biolab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Okay, so apparently it can be used to mean morgue, but it also means a funeral home. Ah, there's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. I'm just curious if it'll say something else. There's nice, there are icicles hanging from the water. That's literally all I wanted from that. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall, and on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... So, Gabe, what do you think the lights mean? Corpses. One, two, mm, three, that's... four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That math doesn't add up. Oh, man, doesn't it? That's kind of kooky, isn't it? Uh-huh. I win. <laughs> Checkmate, atheists. There's some kind of weird machine or something built on the wall. I've seen something like this before. Oh, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. But does that mean that Biolab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. I just want to know why a high school had a morgue in the first place. We're going to assume that it was installed later. It wasn't. It's been there since the beginning. Um, I'm going to assume maybe it was for like any ultimate abilities that were based around science so that they could have cadavers, maybe? That's fair. That, that's very fair. Um, I mean, to be fair, it's like dissecting frogs. Exactly. Except a lot more extreme. <laughs> oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal... Germicidal, germicidal lamps. We also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know the automated system is activated. Temperatures and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a dead body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an optional weather upholstery upgrade package. That's for the vampires. This is the instruction manual for the fridge? Huh, weird. Th those lights don't match up. Well, I've searched everything in here. Now that I've read that, I have to look at the lights. Yeah. There's some kind of weird machine or something built in the wall. There's only some kind of lights around the ones that are left. The right-hand lights are off. Well, it looks around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now that it's a makeshift morgue. Makeshift? Yeah. Literally a morgue. Bio lab secret. And about those lights by each slot. It looks like it's set up so the slides occupied the light comes on, which would mean inside each slot lit up in blue, another one of the victims is. I guess we don't notice it now. I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. To do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. I guess I was caught on the edge there. I mean, I don't think I need to go in there. Um, is there anything left up here? I don't remember. What? Not up here, I don't think. That must be something I'm already done with. It must not mark them off as I do them. No. Okay. Well, wrong way. There we go. I guess the fastest way to be to do this. Am I going to see the idiot here? Do I have to put up with the idiot? No, you'll see, um, the good one, if I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
I just saw, like, a person in that building, and I'm like, uh, please don't let me have to deal with the idiot. Ah, Makoto, are you here to look around, too? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. So I figured... If all the doors in the school have been unlocked, then that one should be open, too, right? Although I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because it might explode, right? And that really sucks, so you open it. I know it's because of her lucky ability, but really. <laughs> I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Ah, uh, wait, let me take cover first. I don't want to okay. get exploded. Okay, okay. Hina. Hina reached over to the nearby desk and hid underneath it. Okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing. I throw all my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression... Whoa, this place is totally sci-fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. What is this device? It looks like some of kind of control panel? It's really over the top though, like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? Hifumi'd probably freak out if he saw it. Cockpit? The Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then could that mean... Okay. Alright, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Hold on, you can't just or whatever something like this. But it was too late. He was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? It sounded almost like the Monokuma sound. Yeah, I think it came from the other room. You know, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but... I think it was that one, the button that says Data Center? Data Center? Took a good look at the control panel when I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled Data Center. That must be the one she pushed. But the Data Center, that's right next door. The room we were just in, that's where the strange noise came from. I'd probably go check it out. Yes, please. I'm kind of scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just hear you on from over here. She's honest. She's an honest gal. We love that about her. Hey, my Kuba. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Is that Monokuma? Hey! I don't know whether I should be reading this or you should. I guess I'll be. Grr! Give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? What? Aw, oh, man, busted. How did you know? Ah. Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote-controlled camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling. Hello. Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. I uh, guess what I found! A self-destruct button! Whatever you do, don't push it! Aw, oh, man! Were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room with Monokuma drawing on it and the control panel inside controls Monokuma. Who would have seen that one coming? <laughs> Hey, Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What What do you mean? What you were controlling just now, it was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Oh. What? For real? Yep, it looks like the panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room, and this control panel is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. And this proves that the Mastermind had to be in here when we were in the data center. Hey. Kyoko's theory was right. But, but if the Mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from here, that means they've been inside the school the whole time? 
Uh, you didn't quite read that right, but it's fine. Same kind of meaning. I know. I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true... Then the mastermind Mount Kuma's puppeteer really is the 16th student? No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Um... What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like the face you're making. Oh no, it's nothing. Oh, okay. What about you? Is everything okay? <laughs> oh, well, it's just... Well, sorry, give me a second. Blair's chewing on my foot. Stop that. This is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something. I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. Um, so, like... You want to leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste our time, all our time standing around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. She just immediately stays in this room or even comes back to this room to start playing with Monokuma and make him do scary voices. That's my canon to what's actually going to happen next, Trahina. Oh. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Ah, uh, the door! It just locked on its own? What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle. Right, it's locked, but why? <laughs> so, that means either there's a remote control, which or... wouldn't exactly make sense, or they were in the room. Of course it's locked! Because the data center is now restricted! Monokuma? Just a second. Hey, no fair! You can't go around restricting whatever you feel like! Hey, um... It's for your benefit! Because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around! Imagine how depressed I would be if the school mascot just stopped up and stopped moving in that room. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. So, right now, you're being operated by someone in that room? Yes, indeed. Correct, Amundo! You're a liar! But that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there, and we didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? <laughs> did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way. The hatch on the floor? Too bad! That was your one big chance and you blew it! Too bad. Of course, the hatch can't be opened from the outside anyway, so whatever. Hmm. Now then, the room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys and tell the others. <laughs> Peace! Um, he's gone, but... So, um, was he t telling the truth the Mastermind was hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the troll room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then, when I said we should leave? Well, that hatch couldn't be opened from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice. nice! You got me all motivated again! I feel like I should have been responding at some point. Okay, I'm out! See you later! No word in edgewise, I get it. He took off at full sprint, and I have to do what I can too. That's the only way we can move forward. 